This is not me. Same as this one, this one, and all of these images that you see. I created all of these images in just a few seconds. So let me show you how to do the same. Head over to replicate.com and click on get started or sign in. For now, you can only sign in with your GitHub account. So click on that and choose your GitHub account. After signing in, search for trainer and you will see Ostris slash Flux Dev Laura trainer with lots of runs. Click on it. Under destination, choose create new model, make it private and give it a name. I'll just name it me. Scroll down and now we need to provide images of our faces. I've already gathered like 40 images of my face so that I can use it to train this AI. Zip all these files and upload it here. After uploading this, we need to choose a trigger word. Whenever you use a trigger word in your prompt, it will refer to whatever you're training here. So in this case, I'm training my face. So I will just use my own name. Scroll down until you reach two steps. Now we need to specify the steps. Since I'm training a face, which has a lot of details, I would like to increase the steps. An ideal number will be between 500 to 4000. So I will go in between like 2500. But remember, if you increase the steps, it will take longer to train your model. And you also have to pay a little bit more. Okay, scroll down until you reach to HF repo ID. So hugging face is just like GitHub, but for your models that you train. So let's go to hugging face website and sign up or log in. After logging in, click on your profile, go to access tokens and create a new access token. Choose right and give it a name. Copy the token and paste that under HF token. Back to hugging face. Again, click on your profile and choose a new model. Give it another name. I'll use the same name as my model on replicate and make sure to make it private. Create the model and copy this and paste that ID here. It's basically your username slash the repository name. Everything else is fine. Click on create training. Now we need to wait for our model to be trained. It can take a few minutes, depends on the number of images that you have and the number of steps that you specify. So take a coffee break and come back to the video once your training is finished. Okay, training is done. Now we can go to the new repositories. So go to your homepage, models, and choose your new model. So in this page, I need to specify the image that I want to generate with a prompt. So let's create a LinkedIn profile image. So you remember we had to specify a trigger word and I use my own name. And whenever you use that keyword, it will be highlighted in blue so that you know that you use the trigger word. It's always better to specify more and more details. I will say So I described it a little bit more so we can specify a lot of things. Uh, for example, aspect ratio, if you want a profile picture, probably one to one is a good option. Now we have number of outputs. By default, it will generate one image. You can increase it up to four. So for now, let's try two. And lastly, I want to increase the number of steps. When you increase the number of steps here, it will take a bit longer, but your image will be more detailed and more close to the description that you provide. So for now, let's keep it on 28. Then you can specify the format. For me, WebP is fine. I'll make sure to increase the quality to the maximum and, and that's it. Click on run. Okay, this looks actually pretty nice. This one is also good. So overall, these are okay, but I want to make it even better. So let's go to ChatGPT and say something like this. Okay, and now let me copy that, paste that here. Now let's review it. Okay, a professional individual, I can change it to Esan with his glasses. I want the image to be with my glasses. Okay, this looks okay. Let me run it again. Okay, now, now this is much, much better. Okay, now let's generate a thumbnail for this video. 
Okay, again, I use ChatGPT to generate this prompt for me. Now scroll down until you see aspect ratio. Click on custom and here enter custom resolution. So the resolution for YouTube thumbnail is 720 for height and 1280 for width. Click on run. This looks great. Look at the details and it's very, very realistic. Let's say you like this second image, but you want to change this image slightly. Scroll down to the logs and search for seed. Copy that and here paste that number. And now if you run this prompt, it will give you results just like this image. You can see it returned almost exactly the same images. Let's say I want to change my shirt color to white. So look at your prompt and find and find description about my shirt color. So this part, I will add a bit more information like white shirt. Now, if I run this, I should get a result similar to the previous image, but with this new description. Okay, this first one actually looks great. Okay, the second one is not really good, but the first one is actually pretty good. Okay, S on with glasses, walking in a park, having a coffee in his hand. Okay, this is really good. Yeah, look at the details. It, it looks very, very nice. Let's try something else. Okay, let's try this one. Me in a karaoke booth. Again, not too bad. I want this image to be waist up. So hopefully this will work. Okay, that's okay-ish, I guess. And lastly, before we go, let's look at the pricing. Okay, this is the model that I use to train my face into a new model. So as you can see, I spent around $8 to train two models. So I trained uh, these two models. This is the new one that we just trained today. You can see it will cost you around three to four dollars per train, but it's just a one time thing. And every time you want to run your model, it will cost you just a few cents. So for example, here I spent 40 cents, but let's see how many runs I had. So as you can see, I had 13 runs and on each run I had one, two or four images being generated. So it's very cheap and affordable. And there you have it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Take a look at this video and I'll see you the next time.